Hello there, my name is Samuel Stokes from samuelstokesmusic.com, and today I'm going to talk about something that's not musical at all. So, usually um, there's music things on my channel, but this is going to be um, more about my uh, ALF fandom. So, ALF, Alien Life Form from the 1986 through 1990 uh, sitcom ALF. Um, and this is a, a strange little entry in the, uh, the ALF. <laughs> um, history. Uh, there was a fan-made game called Alf Defender of Earth, um, and I can't remember what year it came out. Uh, it may say in the game. We're going to take a look at that in a minute. Um, it's available on alftv.com. You can actually download it. I'm not exactly sure who wrote it. There is some information in the uh, the game itself, um, but there's some, it uses some pseudonyms and things like that, so I, I can't really tell you exactly. Um, who's responsible for creating this, but it got out there, and uh, and I still happen to have a copy of it. <laughs> and the problem is you can't really play it on very many modern systems, or at least uh, uh, not that I know of. You might be able to if you uh, know what you're doing <laughs> as far as how to, to run compatibility for different uh, versions of Windows and whatnot. But uh, this old laptop that I have, uh, I can still play it on, and you see I have the system information open. It has Windows 7 Professional Service Pack 1. And so on this old laptop, I can actually get the game to run. Um, now, you notice down in the corner it says it is not a genuine copy of Windows. Uh, it actually is. It's just I r removed the, uh, uh, the hard drive from a different laptop and put it into this laptop, and so it thinks it's not genuine. And so, therefore... Um, I was not able to get OBS Studio to run because I needed to update Windows in order to get that to work. And that's why I have a camera pointed at the screen of a laptop. Very low-tech, or high-tech low-tech. Uh, see me bumping the camera. So just th there's proof that I'm, I'm using a camera. Um, okay, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and open the game. And you'll see what this is all about. This is the future of games, total reality. you notice a lot of the uh, sounds and music in this game is borrowed, stolen, I don't know. He's ready to protect you. I'm going to put this in full screen here. So it says Total Reality, that's the name of the uh, the company. Which I don't know if that was a, a uh, legit company, or it was just some people that got together and did this. Um, they actually have a website down there, www.totalreality.co.uk, which I guess I should check out. Wonder if that <laughs> email address still exists or not. So it plays the uh, opening credits for Alf at the beginning. Sounds like a MIDI version, it's certainly not the original, <laughs> which is strange because there's so many other uh, actual waves. You know, real audio that you hear, but this one is a MIDI rendering. And before we start, we're going to view the credits. So you can see a little bit about this game. So it says, Merry Christmas from Total Reality. Alpha is owned by Alien Productions, based on an idea by Luke Robbins. Programming by Fraz. Sound by Luke. And Total Reality logo designed by Chris Hicks. Spe press space to restart the program. So here we are again. Um, let's take a look at the instructions. I'm just trying to show you everything on this game because most people are not going to be able to make it work. That didn't do it. Okay. Yeah, and <laughs> it's a WRI format file, um, which is pretty antiquated. Let's see what we can read. Okay, here we go. Um, I'm not going to read all this, but let's uh, I'll scan through it, and you can we'll look at it kind of a page at a time here, and you can read through it if you like. You can pause and read it. Fraz, Luke, Nikki, and Andy, a.k.a. Total Reality. So they're responsible for this thing. Merry Christmas 2000. So there you go, the year 2000. I was thinking it was around then, but I didn't know. I'm 
a little history of this uh, this company. I have to look them up. I don't know if they uh, they were legit a company that sold video games or if it was just a hobby. No idea. And a bunch of gibberish because we're reading a file format <laughs> that's uh, uh, apparently not readable on this computer. Okay, let's go ahead and begin the game. So I hit the space bar. Start in New York City. Space bar to start. Okay, and I'm in a spaceship. I gotta shoot these cats. And basically, whatever your direction you're going, you hit the space bar, and these little circle things are gonna shoot. Oh, and I lost already. Well, that was really quick. Okay, let's try this again. Usually I can beat it. <laughs> It's really not that hard. There we go. Level two is Rome. Password pizza. In case you just want to skip to that level. Playing Tchaikovsky's Russian dance from the Nutcracker there. Also, I guess there's some, some music talk in this video. Paris. Password tower. It's not a super hard game. <laughs> oh, and then this one, the kitties shoot lasers, so the plot thickens. Greenland, password snow. Says how to save her and press space bar to start. I guess we'll see what happens. The Tanner resident, America, 12 p.m. And that sounds like music from Final Fantasy. I think that's from Final Fantasy 7. Alf, where is everybody? Willie? Kate? Brian? Lynn? Uh oh, this can't be good. Enter. And the cats are at it again. Oh, I can't move the spaceship for some reason. Uh-oh. I'm gonna have a little control problem here. Well, I usually don't have this problem. I don't know what's going on. Oh, there we go. I guess I just clicked off the... Well, I don't know. When I clicked on the game, it worked again. Alf, prepare to be blasted into kitty litter. I guess this is the boss. Best space to continue. Cat, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Alf, you can talk? I was just about to say the same about you. All right, where's the Tanners? First battle me, then I'll free them, if you survive. <laughs> Time my shots. Oh, now he's moving. Uh oh. oh. I have no idea how much health the cat has. I'll get you, Alf. You've not seen the last of me. And so, the mighty Gord Shumway, ambassador of Melmac, saved the planet Earth from the evil cat army, the Claws. But most importantly, he rescued his family, the Tanners. Now our hero can truly rest after defeating the Claws twice. If he is quick enough, he'll just be in time to watch the Golden Girls on Channel 54. Alf, savior of Earth. He saved every one of us. Hip, hip, hurrah. Merry Christmas from Total Reality. Alpha is owned by Alien Productions. We read this before. And back to the beginning. 
Okay, and I think that's about all to see. Let me just double check. I think there might be something here. Let's see what the about says here, just so you can see. It says Alf Defender of Earth by Total Reality. And that's all it says. How to play, we looked at and gave us that WRI file. Okay, and there you go. That's the game, Alf, the Defender of Earth, fan-made game from the year 2000 from Total Reality.